Red River rivalry about to kick off in Dallas, Texas as well. Kev at the Cotton Bowl oh. in an unranked game between Texas and Oklahoma. Well, the 118th yeah. edition history. On the I'm line. going right back to you, though. You were telling me during the break there's some pretty big news swirling around this game, and kickoff is uh, less than a half hour away. The quarterback position still up in the air at OU. And it has led us to that line movement. It at its peak two days ago, nine and a half. Now down to seven and a half because reports on the ground at the Cotton Bowl. Dylan Gabriel is dressed, and Dylan Gabriel is warming up. What that means for OU we will find out. So right back to you, Kevin. Yeah. If Dylan Gabriel does play in this game, what does that mean for the Sooners' chances? I think that this game is underneath the touchdown if you have a healthy Dylan Gabriel out there. I, I, Texas is not that much better than Oklahoma, at least not in my eyes. Again, unless everybody believes they should be the number one team in the country if Quinn Ewers never gets injured. I don't know, Joe. Where, you're, as someone that's on OU today, I, I would think you want Dylan Gabriel back out there, right? Yeah, that's fine. If Bevel goes, I have no problem with it. Hmm. I, I talked about Texas being the Ferrari with the lawnmower engine, and I'm not holding – I'm really holding Pat with that. I mean, yeah. at the end of the day, in big games, they're like Glass Joe, especially against the run. And OU, I think, gets back to basics, running the football, especially if Bevel's there. And here's the thing. That defense for Oklahoma needs a bounce-back effort. The fact that it's Quinn Ewers and not a mobile quarterback I think will benefit them. I think they could force some turnovers. All the pressure right now is on Steve Sarkeesian because even though he has the better team on paper, he hasn't won. They haven't won this game in four years, five years. They need to step up. Otherwise, guess what? Sark is on the hot seat again. Red River rivalry in Dallas between Texas and Oklahoma. But significant news yesterday for this game. The mulleted man, Quinn Ewers, is back for Texas. Got injured in that first half against Alabama when the Longhorns were trying to pull off the upset in Austin. And now he is back for this rivalry showdown against the Sooners. So, Joe, as we look at the spread, it worked from seven in favor of Texas, up to nearly double digits in favor of the Longhorns yesterday after this news that Quinn Ewers would start against OU. Does it change your perception of the Red River rivalry? Absolutely not, and it got as high as 9.5. I don't know if it got up to 10, but I took it at 9.5, Ben. For me, I look for a bounce-back spot out of Oklahoma. I know they got abused in terms of back-to-back games, in terms of Kansas State, and obviously last week with TCU with mobile quarterbacks, Adrian Martinez and Max Duggan. But as we know, Quinn Ewers is a prototypical drop-back passer, so they know where he'll be. Now, that's still a, a big, tall order for the Oklahoma defense, but at the end of the day, I still expect this offense to run the football, sustain drives, and keep Quinn Ewers on the sidelines. Again, they don't have to win. They just have to keep it within the 9-9 and a half eight and a half point number and I think they could do that yeah. they've won four straight in the series by an average margin of victory of 10 points per game I think Oklahoma's live in this ballgame 